Hi everybody, welcome back. We're at a different angle starting off today. This is a makeup collection video. So what you're seeing now is the chest of drawers that I keep my makeup in. So this is usually what you see in the background of my videos. So I'm gonna pan up a little bit here. So these are just some of the little things I have on top of it for decoration, current Ipsy bag, a few of the boxes of my most like beloved and palettes that I think are just really pretty. There's a couple of the e.l.f. Uh, limited edition beauty books over there and a Sephora bag just to make things pretty. And then as you'll see, I'll pan down here. This is a five chest set of drawers. So we're going to do this drawer by drawer as well as a tour of what is on my vanity. I think that's just the easiest way for me to do this. So this will be a four or five part series that we do. So we'll get into it. Now this first drawer that I have here is just basically kind of junk. There's some bubble wrap in here if I'm going to need it for shipping. I like to actually keep these envelopes that the Ipsy's come in because they're great for storing other things. And you know I try to reuse, repurpose. I also have like behind the scenes stuff, some zip ties, uh, tape. It's also where I keep like my little bags, like here's the Sephora play bag, um, Ipsy bags that I'm not currently using. So I just keep kind of all of that stuff in here. This is just kind of a little maintenance junk catch-all drawer. Now the drawer that is of first most significance is going to be this drawer. This drawer houses my foundations, my powders, primers, and concealers, and a few other little whatnots. So we're going to go through this drawer. So in this drawer, I have these little um, like container holders. They're just little plastic containers. I actually got these like at the Dollar Tree for a buck. They're kind of nice because they have like a rubberized bottom on them, so your stuff really doesn't slip and move around, like especially foundation bottles. So we're just going to go through each little tub one by one and I'll show you what's inside. So to start off, it's with this one that I just showed you. This is powders. These are my face powders that I use. Uh, the first powder up here, this is the Milani Multitasker Face Powder. I really do love this stuff. Really, really good. I'm in the shade 04, which is light tan. Next up, we have another Milani one. This is the um, Even Touch Powder Foundation. Again, a really nice one. I'm in the shade number 11, which is golden beige. Really, really, really love this stuff too. Probably my holy grail of powders, actually. This is such, such a good powder. Uh, this is the Maybelline Dream Wonder. This is my summer shade 83, which is golden beige, but this has got really good medium coverage. So I really, really love this one. Next up is the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Powder. I have the shade here 50, which is natural beige. I actually did an entire review demo first impression on this one. So I will link that. But yeah, this is, I just, I really, really, really love this stuff. So good. I also have here one of the uh, Maybelline Fit Me uh, powders. This one's in 230 um, Natural Buff. I use, whoops, I use the poo out of that. Yeah, pan, pan, pan. I also have the Fit Me Set and Smooth um, in, I think it's in shade 240, which is golden beige, but it's in my purse because it's like my summer powder and I really, really love this for touch-ups on the go. But in general, this is just a fabulous, fabulous powder. Now I also have two of these. These are the um, e.l.f. HD powders. This one is in the um, corrective yellow. And I really don't use these one because they're very messy. And the yellow's kind of neon. It's really, really bright. I just don't play with them as much. I kind of need to. I need to put these out where I will see them. I also have the e.l.f. Uh, high definition powder, the original uh, in sheer. Now, this is the old formula that I believe ha has glitter in it, so I don't really use it, but oh gosh, it's so, oh my, it's like baby soft. It's so baby soft, very finely milled. I think I'm just needing to go out and repurchase the new formula that does not have like the glitter particles in it. Last but not least, it's actually not in the drawer, but this stays on my vanity. It's my Cody Airspun loose um, face powder. This one is in the um, translucent extra coverage. This is just like, I mean, you, you have to have this. You're going to smell like Oud Old Lady for about five hours, but this is such, such a good powder. It's fabulous. I love it. So it actually stays in my vanity because it gets used a lot. Next up is my foundations tub. So we'll go through that now. And these are mostly my summer ones. There's a few in here that aren't um, 
I just guess I didn't put them away. But these are mostly summer. So I'm going to start off with the BB creams. First up is the uh, CoverGirl Clean Matte BB. I also did a whole um, review slash demo on this one as well. I'll link all those videos down below to anything that I've reviewed or demoed, which I think is just about everything. But <laughs> this is the Clean Matte BB. I have the shade 550, which is medium deep. Such a good BB cream. Love this. I've worn this all summer. It's, we're just about done with this too. I also have the Maybelline Pure Dream uh, or the Dream Pure BB. Um, this is the one with, uh, for more for oily skin, it has like the salicylic acid in it. I just, I just chose this one because I wanted matte finish. Um, this one's for medium deep, uh, sheer tint. I do like this, but it's actually a little too light for me this time of year in the summer. Um, even though it's medium to deep, it's more of kind of like my fall into winter transition color, but I do like this cream. I do like it. I also have the Maybelline Dream Bronze BB, which this is a bronzing cream. And what I mainly use this for is to like deepen up lighter foundations. Like I could use that with this to kind of help give that more of a tan glow to it. So it does work for that. Um, I just don't reach for it as often as I should. And sometimes I forget it's in here. All right, since we're in tube foundations, I'll, or tube like squeezy tube types, I'll pull these two out. Uh, Love these. These are the L'Oreal Infallible. Uh, this is the Pro Glow and the Pro Matte. I'm in the shade um, Caramel Beige in both of them, but they both have two different numbers. And this is actually just a little bit darker than this one. This is 108 and this is 209, but 208 was too light. So what I like to do with these anyway is I, I will wear this alone because I, I like a matte. I gear more towards a matte finish for foundation. Um, uh, but this is so dewy that it's dewier than I prefer for a foundation. If I don't have it matte, then I want it to look more natural. So I will mix the two of these, and it gives that perfect natural finish, and I love it for that. Also up in here, we have the Maybelline Fit Me uh, Shine Free and Balance Foundation Stick. And I just really don't use this as much, um, but I do like it. It's got really good coverage. Uh, I have the shade, which is um, 240 Golden Beige. And um, it's kind of lighter on me as well. It's more of like a transition from summer into fall or fall into winter shade for me. But I do need to start using this more because I really do like it. Okay, now I'll go ahead and I'll pull this one up. This is the L'Oreal rather Trim Match Lumi Cushion in N5.5. And again, I've done a uh, review demo on this. And I really like this foundation. It's really expensive for what you're getting. Um, you're not getting, you're only getting half an ounce of product and it's like $16, but I really do like this foundation. My only problem is, is it's too light N 5.5 is too light for me, but the next shade up is way too dark. So, um, I can use this and make it work in the winter time and maybe add a little bit of the dream bronze BB with that and really make it work. But I really do like this. I get really good coverage and it's, it's convenient. It's real simple to use. So now we're getting into the bottles of foundation. First up is the uh, Maybelline Superstay Better Skin. I love this foundation so much. Now this one is in, what shade you be in? I thought it said it like right up here. Oh, here it is. So I'm backwards. 45, which is sand beige, which this is my perfect um, from October till April color, we'll call it. <laughs> Um, now, I looked around the summertime to try and find one that would be more of my summer shade. And just looking at the bottles, it really doesn't seem like there's going to be one in there that fits for me. So I can, again, mix this with some of the bronze BB. Sometimes I will throw a pump or two of this in with the Infallible, the Pro Matte, um, anything. But I love this foundation. It gives such good coverage and a beautiful natural finish. So I love, love, love that. Next up is my Holy Grail Ride or Die Foundation. If I could only have one foundation for the rest of my life, it would not be hard for me to say this is it because my Revlon Color Stay is the best. Uh, this one is in the shade 360, which is Golden Caramel. Um, and I have to get the combination oily skin. Even though I have normal skin, I have to get the combination oily skin because it's the only one that comes in 360. So, but... I don't know what kind of sorcery is in this bottle, but this foundation matches me all year long. Winter, summer, it does not matter. It blends in so well with my skin tone that it just matches me. So I, holy grail, 
love it forever i have more bottles below and uh about ready to hit bottle on this one here pretty soon next up are my two fit me's i have the matte and poreless and the dewy and smooth these are both my summer shades which are in the um dewy plus uh, dewy and smooth it's 240 golden beige and in the uh, matte and poreless it's 332 golden caramel but as you can see they're pretty much both the same color <laughs> But, um, yeah, these, so these are my summer shades for these. Um, but I love these. Uh, this one, again, can sometimes be a little bit too dewy. I'll mix it in with this this one to get a natural finish. Or I wear this one alone. This, I have went through several bottles of both of these. And like I said, these are my summer colors. My winter colors are in the bottom drawer of my dresser here. So, love, love, love these. Last but not least would be the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation Review Demo this is 1.5 okay this is number one this is 1.5 so if i were stranded on deserted island i'd want to take both <laughs> but well actually I'd, all i'd want was my phone and a solar charger i'd be good it doesn't matter if i can make calls i just need my phone but um this one is in sand beige which is my normal color and then i have 09 uh, tan which is the next shade up in my yellow undertone spectrum now this is just a hair deep just a hair not very much i can make it work but so what i'll usually do is do like two pumps of this and one pump of that to help lighten that up a little so it's perfect and i do that with a lot of foundations it's sometimes with my skin tone it's hard to find a perfect match so i have to create my own but this stuff is fabulous. I love, love, love this foundation. Next up, we've got my little primers bin here. So we'll go through that. First primer I have up here is the e.l.f. Mineral Face Primer. I don't get a lot of use out of this. It kind of has a like glittery, shimmer effect underneath it. So I really haven't given it much of a try because of that. Um, but I do kind of need to give it a try and see if I do like it. One of my absolute favorites, Monistat Complete Care Shaping Relief Powder Gel. This is a fabulous, fabulous primer. It is so good. Makes your skin perfect, helps fill in things. And I just, I love this stuff. Tati Glam Life Guru is the one that uh, got me hooked on this. Then again, for other primers here, I have a little tiny baby sample here. Came in a Sephora play of the Smashbox Photo Finish. This is the original. This was just actually recently featured in my monthly favorites too. Rediscovered Love. I forgot how much I really, really do love this stuff. So when this runs out, I will get a big one. Another little Lexie sample I have in here is the uh, Too Faced Hangover RX, which I think I got this in ipsy and i forgot how much i absolutely love this too but this is a great moisturizing primer because it has um the coconut water in it so especially in the winter time when my skin tends to maybe get a little dry you know just from it being winter time i really really like to use this one another primer here this is the um maybelline um, master prime by face studio primer in 100 blur and smooth this one is a really nice one because it's kind of a watery base, so it's kind of a milky colored primer, but it kind of also helps to like fill in as well with the silicone, but I really do like this one. It's kind of has a moisturizing effect to it. And then another one that's kind of a face primer, but not really, and it's the Benefit Do The Hula. I actually got this in my Sephora Play, and it just gives a little hint of tint. I think in the winter time I'll get more use out of this because then I could use this to kind of go around the perimeter, not necessarily to contour, of course, but just to bronze a little around the perimeter. So I'm kind of putting that in there. You can also use that for mixing. All right, the rest of these are eye primers. Uh, first one is this um, eyeshadow primer. It's called Eyes the Limit, and this is from Hard Candy. It's just a small, like, deluxe size that came with a palette that I purchased, and I really just don't, I'm not sure how I feel about this because I've only used it a couple of times and I haven't used it consistently. So I kind of really need to like use it for a week and see it, what I really think about this. But right now, eh, jury's kind of out. Um, this is the e.l.f. Shadow Lock Eyelid Primer. I really like this. This one is the shimmer. I believe this is the shimmer because it comes in the white. Let's see. We'll put some on. Um, yes, yeah, this is the shimmery one. I don't know if that's going to pick up. Is that picking up like the little reflex there? It's kind of hard for me to tell. 
um, but this one is really good for like your glitter duochrome eyeshadows because I think it really helps bring them out with a little bit of glitter properties underneath and then also I have these two uh, the wet n wild primers now these are the old Fergie packaging now I know this one is still available I believe it's called the photo focus um, primer this is the all day one called um, the take on the day eyeshadow primer for my primas uh, this is just your regular base one I know this is still available just not with the Fergie logo but I'm not so sure if this one is and this is the shimmer one and this one's called a little party and like the elf one this has kind of the um, the shimmery property to it but see look at that this would be really really good for your duochrome your foiled shadows because I mean you could almost wear this on its own you know without maybe just set it it's pretty it's got a real pretty pink color so it helps cancel things out um, well kind of salmony pink but really really pretty I really really love those two next primer up I love this little guy this is kind of my little holy grail hidden gem this is the elf um, eye primer and liner sealer it's a two-piece system on the bottom it has this little wand which kind of like has makeup setting spray in here but you can dip any eyeshadow and turn it into a liquid eyeliner it really does work it's kind of neat and then the top has the uh, primer now it comes up kind of like in a concealer stick form and it actually is kind of hard like a concealer like a hard concealer stick would be but I just rub the top of it kind of warm the product up and then you know use it to prime last little thing in here is the elf high definition under eye setting powder now I used to use this all the time to set my concealer I've gone through little tiny jars of this over and over and over again I really don't use it for that anymore I have other powders that I like but I still do love this for that but I also like to use it to set eyeshadow primer um, some of the eyeshadow primers are a little bit more stickier and when I know I'm going to use one of those then I'll go ahead and throw this out to set it and does it beautifully last little tub in here is all of my concealers so we'll go through that I'm gonna start off with kind of like my pot concealer so it's concealers in a pot first one is the NYX above and beyond full coverage concealer and this is in the shade medium now I don't use this really for an under eye concealer it does have a little bit of a salmony pigment to it so you definitely probably could but I actually use this more so for spot concealing because it's kind of like a hard concealer stick in a pot um, kind of have to work it with a brush and kind of kind of really work it but to cover up little spots like if I have like a little blemish or you know like a little scar or something this will cover it fabulously and it lasts all day long and it is full coverage so it's really good next up is my NYX uh, dark circle corrector concealer and I love this stuff this one is also in the shade medium has that real good peach um, salmon -y tone to it it's a kind of emollient but not super emollient but way more emollient than like the other concealers and this is really good I use this a lot more in the winter time summertime I don't think my dark circles show up nearly as much but in the winter time they're pretty bad so I tend to use this for that also what I have here in a little pot um, this is bare minerals warmth but it actually um, is light enough that I can use that for um, concealing um, and also for under eye setting if I want to do a little bit of brightening but yeah I've had this for like ever <laughs> but yeah so I don't use it very often but I, I do like it next I'll go into my wand concealers and well this is kind of a wand kind of not this is the um, Maybelline instant age rewind concealer this is a really really um, good one this is a neutralizer so it's really good for under eyes but I usually mainly use this for um, brightening like pre highlighting or I'll use it for um, eyelid concealer this works really well for that too because it cancels everything out then I do have my wand concealers here I have the NYX HD concealer this one's in CW06 called glow it's kind of really light but I really like to use this one for highlighting like pre highlighting like again with the uh, Maybelline age rewind but not necessarily strictly under my eyes because it's too light then I have um, my Revlon color stay in medium I just cannot go through this I have had this I think forever I probably should just throw it out but I just can't get through it. it but it's such a good concealer I really really do like it but it just it's lasted forever 
Yeah, probably what is my absolute favorite wand type, you know, doe foot concealer is the Maybelline Fit Me. This is in shade 25 medium. I love this stuff. This stuff is so good. There's a reason it gets such good rave reviews. Okay, and then the last two here are my tube concealers. Uh, the first one is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Anti-Aging Waterproof Concealer. This sample actually came in an Ipsy bag. I will be purchasing the full size when I run out of this magic. Magic, magic, magic. But you see how long it's taken me to get through just even this small little travel size because you use so, so very little. It's so emollient. Really, really good stuff. And then my other Holy Grail one would be the um, Maybelline Master Conceal by Face Studio. And this is the Camouflaging Concealer. This one is also in the shade Medium. Love it. This stuff is fabulous. Fabulous, guys. Fabulous. So that's all of my concealers, foundations, powders, and everything. Now, I do have a basket back here with a few whatnots in it. Uh, I have some of the Avon uh, Moisture Effective Eye Makeup Remover. This isn't bad makeup remover, but it will not even put a dent in my mascara, so I don't use it for that. But I do use this every now and then to kind of help, like, um, help clean and condition my false eyelashes. Works really well for that. I have like an extra spray bottle, like if I'm making makeup remover or makeup brush cleaner or setting spray or something like that. Then I have a little jar bag here that just has like some of these poofs that come with, you know, your powders. I honestly, I don't know why I keep them because I don't ever use them, but I always think to myself, well, maybe I'll use it. So I'll just keep that back there. So that is it. So that is everything that was in this particular drawer. So part two will be the next drawer is pretty much eye makeup. But I hope that you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you did. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.